folks, I'm Sebastian Heinz, and I'm in the uh, CH-750 Cruiser. I got Roger Dubert and Steve uh, from the Zenith factory in front of me. You probably can't see him that well with the wide angle, but he's uh, probably maybe a quarter mile ahead of me in the Stoll CH-750 Super Duty. And I've got my brother Nick uh, behind me in the uh, CH-650. And we're here flying into, uh, into Lakeland, Florida for the 2019 uh, Fun and Fun Climb. And uh, been uh, traveling all the way down from uh, Mexico, Missouri, a thousand miles to come out here. And uh, we're now 22 miles out, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to roll a little bit of video as we come in. For the, we're, what are we, the 31st of March, so the NOTAM I don't think is quite in effect. This is the NOTAM for the arrival into Sun and Fun. I think it'll be just a, uh, the regular tower approach, but uh, we'll kind of see which way we do it. And depending on, uh, on what they say. And uh, straight ahead of me, probably about uh, 10 miles, is uh, Lake Parker, which is part of the, the regular approach area. And then uh, I'll kind of keep the frequencies open so you guys can monitor uh, as we fly in. Like I said, I'm Sebastian in the CH-750 Cruiser, Roger and Steve in the Stoll CH-750 Super Duty, and uh, Nick behind me in the the CH650. We'll probably do a, what we try to typically use as we're flying together is do a flight of three coming in. Okay. Switch over to the sun fun uh, frequency, or uh, light wind frequency. Uh, try to drop my altitude to the 1200 feet. Uh, even though the NOTAM is not in effect, we'll try to kind of kind of follow a lot of the procedures with the Lake Parker and the altitude because I know a lot of airplanes will be coming in. It just keeps everything a little bit better organized. Hey, Roger, are you with me? So, Nick, I'm just going to start monitoring uh, 124.5. Okay, I'm going to start monitoring the frequency. Yeah, 124.5 is the uh, Lakeland Tower frequency. With information, Romeo. Roger, Roger. Right, so I'm not using the chat angle right now. I keep speed up and I'm right there. It's runway 271. You can use speed up for over 12 left. Yeah, but still, you think 27 left? Oh, yeah, no, the wind is definitely uh, straight from the west, so they're going to stay on that. And left is the, is the main runway, not the taxiway, it's the big one. Yeah, big one. Continue, big one over there. I figured that. So, uh, you gonna call uh, flight of three? I'll do that, and uh, I'll, I'm gonna call them over my partner. Yeah, okay. Now, since it's, uh, since it's a regular approach, you really don't need to fly the, uh, the, the NOTAM approach. APT-1, fly number 13. Okay, Roger, Roger. Hey, Roger, Roger. Roger. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll try to catch up to Roger a little bit. He's pulling a little bit ahead. Can you still hear me? Is that you, Roger? No. <laughs> I'm about a quarter mile from you, and I don't know how far back I use. About the same, maybe a little bit closer. And I'll be coming a little bit tighter to you, Roger. Yeah, coming a little tighter, and then when we get close, you know, I'll turn to base the final, so you'll kind of slow up a little bit. Yeah, no problem. Okay, let's switch over to 24.5. Okay. Runway 271. 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 Runway 
So here we've got I-4 passing uh, east to west from uh, Tampa to uh, Orlando. And then Lake Parker with the power plant there. And uh, those of you that have flown into Lakeland know that very well. It's just a st part of the standard approach. You go to meet up at Lake Parker and then follow I-4 to Lakeland.
that was them getting clearance. Two seven base. There was five five nine six five. Speed it up a little bit for a flight of three to see it together. Now four miles out, of course, you can see they went there for it really well. Yeah, right base for 21. Runway 27 and after a 42 mile right base for 271. Okay, we're running a bit of power in this. Nice Keep our speed in. Okay, 550 Yankee. 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 Lakeland Tower, 01 Yankee, we're full out. 01 Yankee, Roger, do you have a transfer? Yes, I do, she's on. You're not reading? Uh, just push that bit, bud. I'm uh, telling a member, uh, 47 Tango Bravo, about uh, 10 miles to the north of the landing, one way to the second, 271 on our left. 47 Tango Bravo, report 4 from the airport. 47 Tango Bravo, report 4 miles from the airport. <laughs> So oh, here we are, right? Yankee, what's your position right now? We're well, at 3.2 from the airport. The uh, three gentlemen in front of me. Oh, you see the three guys in front of you? Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Okay. I think there's a sensor just off your right hand side. I just well was turning it downwind for 27 right. Okay, zero one Yankee. Do you see the uh, Cessna midfield about to go uh, what uh, eastbound for the downwind? Uh, no, I don't, sir. I got the three three gentlemen in front here that are I don't know where they're going in. They're going into two seven. They better be lining on two seven. Okay, well, they're going into two seven. Okay, they're going into two seven. Okay, they're going into two seven. I tell you what, zero one Yankee, I don't see that, but just go ahead and make a 360 right there and let me clear everybody out of your way. 96 Bravo, you got a flight of three landing in front of you. Do you have them in sight? We got them in sight and we have another one out in front of us, right up in front of us. You're right out in front of you? Now I lost him. He was out in front. Alright, I'm going to go to the base and I'll wait to clear the Well, 
Well, here we are, Sun and Fun, 2019. Last landing, Roger here in the Super Duty. Nick is right behind me. I saw a second ago, he is right behind me. And uh, look forward to seeing y'all at uh, Sun and Fun. We see Nick back there a little bit. <laughs> 